Jump to another uh, kind of uh, a popular game, I think. Uh, Tom Brady's going to be making his debut, announcing. Uh, can't can't interview any of the players or do any of the uh, pre-show stuff, which is kind of crazy. But we got the Cowboys and the Browns, and this is this one's interesting to me because I think this is another one where the books are are begging the the, the public to come in and take the Cowboys. I mean, open up Cowboys minus one and a half. Now they're plus two and a half. I think you're gonna, especially we know you got a bunch of Cowboy fans out there. Shout out to Patriot four and six five that are just going to be betting their Cowboys no matter what, especially now that C.D. Lamb signed and whatnot. Uh, I've liked the Browns since this line opened. The Browns, uh, super talented roster on both sides of the ball. It's just obviously the biggest question is quarterback. But you don't need Deshaun Watson to be peak Sean Wat- uh, Deshaun Watson. You just need him to be a game manager in this. He's got plenty of talent around him to be able to win this game at home here. Um, I like the Browns in this one, but uh, just mainly because I, I, I'm so intrigued the fact that the Vegas is leaving this at two and a half, begging all the Cowboy fans to come in and take their Cowboys and tease them up and all that stuff. So what, what do you think about this game, Robert? Yeah, Cowboys are one of the most popular teased lines uh, in the NFL this week because uh, you can tease them at six, get them up to eight and a half. A lot of people love the eight and a half. It fits the Wong tweet teaser model that mm-hmm. was put out many years ago. Uh, the I mean, it's it's a I, I I have open questions. The Cowboys did nothing in the offseason but get a little bit worse from a talent perspective. Yeah. Um, and the offensive line is weaker. They still have their core personnel uh, that at the skill positions and on defense, but then they lose Bland to injury, and they lost their defensive coordinator. So every reason to expect the Cowboys to step back. They're also a very different team on the road than they are at home. Uh, uh, in Prescott's era, and doesn't general... Zimmer's historically Zimmer's defense usually take a little while in the season to get going? If I yeah, I mean, I do it. like Zimmer. Uh, yeah, the, uh, I I think from a coaching perspective, they didn't step back in the change. The question is, how quickly does it to go to your point? How quickly does that scheme, uh, new scheme, adjust with the personnel? The the other factor, the X factors with the Browns are they were outrageously good defensively at home last year and outrageously bad away from home last year mm-hmm. that's now that's not terribly uncommon uh because officials is why the uh, most nfl defenses play better at home that essentially will you get away with more interference more especially if you're a cold weather team it's the reason why you know uh the uh ex michigan heistman corner cornerback uh did so much better when he went back up north and to play in the nfl is because he loved to hold a lot. He wasn't very quick. Um, uh, not as quick as people made him out to be. But but this is early in the year, so the weather doesn't quite help the Browns as much as I think in the rest of the year it will. But it might. the officials might be uh, you know, f- uh, favorable whistles and allow certain things to go on, or they might not because it's the Cowboys on the other side of the line. So that's in a big nationally televised game. So I'm curious to see whether those – drastic splits repeat themselves they don't usually maybe the browns get a little weaker at home a little better on the road normalize they still have extraordinary defensive talent uh but the other factor last year was they got to feast usually great defenses in the nfl feast off bad quarterbacks when Mm -hmm. they face good quarterbacks they don't look much different than bad defenses in the nfl uh because those quarterbacks can throw into those tight windows and what you're good at defensively in the NFL in the past game is forcing quarterbacks to throw into tight windows and anticipate really well. Uh, but good quarterbacks do do that. And that's why, in my opinion, you often see uh, – if I mean, one of the things I tend to bet is team totals of good quarterbacks against good defenses because mm-hmm. they'll adjust like it's a big adjustment. Historically, it hasn't been. In the last, ever since they changed the rules so Belichick's teams couldn't hold downfield and do illegal contact all over the place, that's how they got away with beating Peyton Manning for years. Um, it, you know, ain't the, cheating, ain't trying. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> uh, so I lean Brown still as well, but man, Deshaun Watson had – but uh, I'm worried a little bit about those severe splits at home. Will they get the same friendly whistles against the Cowboys? Uh, though I like the defensive roster. But I do uh, worry about – uh, Deshaun Watson, just how bad yeah. I agree with you. He just needs to be average and there'll mm-hmm. be a good playoff team this year, but maybe he can't be average. That's what they, I'm I saying. Mean, mm-hmm. They need to bring back. They should, you know, there, there should be a petition amongst Browns fans to bring back the masseuses for uh, Deshaun Watson, because I, I, whatever the deal was, it's like Tiger Woods, no more orgies, no more titles. <laughs> yes. uh, you know, 
Something needs to go up because we know uh, the Browns owner would do that too. I mean, he don't care. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, the ownership is a, a bunch of big Tennessee football fans uh, mm-hmm. there in Cleveland. So the, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, we'll see if uh, I, I, I lean Browns earlier. Uh, I liked it a lot better when the Browns were catching two rather than giving two. Um, so the, uh, I wouldn't bet it at this number, but I would lean still the Browns. I like, I also like that they brought in Vrabel. Uh, you know, yeah, well, not yeah, a coordinator or anything. He's just management in, in the backfield uh, managing. When they did that in the offseason, I'm like, oh, that's going to be huge. That's like a perfect role for him, too. Uh, doesn't have to be out there in the spotlight, can just work behind the scenes. Um, so I think that's going to be huge for the Browns. Uh, and then I think in this game, if you don't want to bet a side or anything like that, uh, I think I would look when the player props come out uh, over the weekend, look for the tight ends. I think both tight ends, they got great tight ends on, on both teams here. I think they could have have themselves a day. Um, um, against the, the way these two teams are going to play against each other. But what do you think about this one, Cricket? I, I love these spots where you got the sharp money and the public money on one side. I love to go the other way in these spots. It doesn't surprise me there's big money on Dallas, a very publicly bet team most years, and uh, expected with some high expectations coming into this season there. And you talk about over in the chat here, talking about Dak being a contract year. I think you're going to see a good season out of Dak. We know we talked about it last year, Will. If there should have been a quarterback that got the MVP, it probably should have been Dak. It should have been CMC's award. But if there was going to be a quarterback, it probably should have been Dak from a stat standpoint right there. Mm-hmm. And now you've got C.D. Lamb. They got all those contract talks done. He's back, ready to go. I like Jake Ferguson, the tight end there. Um, so for me, I think I'm I'm about faced on this one also. I like the Cleveland early on. Felt like the you know all the stuff from them being so good at home last year. But this Dallas Cowboys team is a good football team right here, man. Coming in with a chip off their shoulder. Been thinking about the the blown loss in the playoffs to the Packers on there where they got absolutely embarrassed. So that's been on their on their mind for the last six months here. I like Dallas in this thing. I'm gonna flip it around. I'm probably gonna wind up time. I'm gonna take the money line at plus one fourteen. But I think I'm gonna flip it around at minus two and a half in Dallas, get a little more plus money on that thing okay. expect Dallas to come in and steal one in Cleveland early on right here and kind of set the tone for the season. Okay. Okay. I do worry about Dak uh, heading into the season without a contract because uh, he knows that it's, it's crazy. He's going to be the first quarterback that actually hits the free agent market um, since the, you know, paying all these QBs and with the rookie contracts and stuff like that. We never see it. These teams are too afraid to let these quarterbacks go. Uh, so they always end up paying them. That's why you see the Jalen Hurts, the Jordan Love, all these guys. Like we, Tua, we think we got our guys, so we just got to pay them before the market goes up, and uh, we know someone else is going to pay them. I think Jerry, Jerry's okay. He, he's he said he's going to gamble this season. He's got his coach that's uh, a contract expiring. He's got his quarterback contract expiring. If it doesn't go the way, uh, you know, if it's not the Cowboys' year this year, he's just going to move on and, and wash his hands of it. I think that's not good for Cowboys fans because Dak, you know, you're going to get paid. Someone's going to pay you that money. So if you start getting banged up a little bit here, even if it's not a major injury, you might be sitting out some games just thinking about his future. Cause that's, I mean, as long as he stays, makes it through the season healthy, I think he knows he's getting paid somewhere. Dak feels like a loyal guy though, man. He just feels like a guy for me. That's it's a man of the people. He feels like a team guy to me. Then he would have taken a lower contract. <laughs> I mean, he can't do that. He can't do that though. I mean, the market is what the market is. And it's, it's not his Tom fault. Brady did it. He did it. And the it's not his fault. Jerry Jones money. is his owner. <laughs> I mean, Jerry Jones is the one over here like, dragging these contract talks out yeah. just because he loves the clicks on social medias and all that stuff. Dax, Dax should have been paid a long time ago. You know, you know what would be funny is if Dak does leave the Cowboys after the season and goes up to the Giants and they go and beat – he goes and wins with the Giants, that if would be If I was funny. Dak, I promise Jerry you, if be- I left Dallas, I'm going somewhere that plays Dallas twice a year. Jerry would be livid. That'd be funny.